Well, a lot has changed since uh, the first video. I got these hydroponic reservoirs from one of the local hydroponic stores. Um, seemed to work pretty good. They were used, got them about 40 bucks a piece. Um, so I got three of them. I don't have a sump tank yet, so I used one of them as a sump tank. Um, and I also built this supportive wall because the plastic isn't super thick, so to avoid any bowing of the plastic, I, uh, I built this supportive rail around the top rim. So I'm cycling some water right now just to test what the um, empty and fill cycle looks like. Um, this um, is not going to be big enough. I can already tell that it's going to probably overflow. Um, but you can see I have my fill line running along the back fence there. I got three valves, one for each um, tank. And then that line drops down to the flex, which goes into the pump. And the pump's in the sump right now, but uh, permanently it'll be down in the pond, pulling pond water. So you can see there, that's the supply cycle going up. So pump down through the flex. Up PVC, over, and into the beds, and then drain out of the beds, back into the sump. Now I don't quite have the right connection going on here because you can see that my drain is going uphill, which we don't want. Um, so I still got to work on an attachment for that bulkhead um, to get it into the tank properly. All right, so got the grow beds in, gravel all scooped in. Uh, by the way, this gravel, uh, this is expanded shale from uh, RSA Hydroponics in uh, San Jose. So, gave me a great deal on that stuff, so I recommend you guys go go see him. So, um, we already went over the plumbing coming in. Uh, this one I have running. So, you can see the water coming in there, slow trickle. And we got our bell siphon right there. Right now, I just have a temporary line three-quarter going to an inch and a half going to a two inch which dumps back into the pond I've had it cycling for about five hours now and does about a 30 minute fill and about a seven minute drain so um, it's pretty good on the drain the fill is still a little fast so I might uh, cut down on that water level a little bit more um, I'm gonna refocus and I'll show you guys the bell siphon so down in there you can see the bell siphon and this is a uh, just a rock guard, so it doesn't get clogged. So water level's coming up. Got about another inch to go before it drains, and I'll uh, I'll cut to it when it starts to drain on you. And there we go. The siphon has started. Like I said, it takes about mm, six minutes for it to start draining, or for it to completely drain. I'll kind of show you what it looks like on the other end coming into the pond. There it is, starting to drain into the pond. You can see behind there, that's the uh, that's the pump doing the pickup and going out. So right now it's just a little bit of a trickle, and once that siphon catches on, it'll really start dumping out of there pretty quick. Like I said, this has been cycling for about five or six hours now. And they usually get a real clean break within about 45 seconds. That's about how long it takes for it to go uh, full bore. So now you can see there, it's gone into a full siphon. So at this point it'll take only about two or three minutes for it to finish draining. The siphon will break and then the whole process will start over again. <laughs> 